Before we can start building a tile world, we need to know the field of view of the lens and camera or sensor combination that we're using. Fortunately, modern cameras store a lot of metadata and the read nodes in Nuke, as of recent versions, have a metadata tab where you can look the metadata up right here. If you're using an older version of Nuke, you can use the view metadata node to look the metadata up this way as well. So the information we're interested in is, in the case of a digital camera, the model of the camera and the focal length of the lens. We won't be able to get the information about the sensor size directly from this uh, in most cases with an SLR like this, but uh, depending on uh, the camera system, it's possible to get a 35 millimeter equivalent focal length, especially in small point and click cameras. This camera doesn't have that information, so we're gonna to have to look up the sensor information ourselves. It's pretty easy, you can just do it right on Google. So I can see that this is a Canon EOS 7D. And the first result that came up tells us the sensor size. Here it is, 22.3 by 14.9. So we need this information in Nuke. And the thing I like to do is to just create a camera. So I'm hitting tab and starting to type camera. And I can use one of Nuke's virtual cameras to keep this information for me. What I wanna put in here is the horizontal aperture. So that was 22.3 and the vertical aperture, 14.9. And now my virtual camera is set up to have the same size sensor virtually that my real camera had. Now let's look up the focal length and we can put that in there as well. So one of the easiest ways to do this is to just filter for it. And there it is, focal length, 16 divided by one, which means 16 millimeters. So we'll put that in here. And now I have a virtual camera that will emulate my real camera in terms of the field of view. So let's say that you ran into a situation where you used a digital camera to shoot a video. Sometimes, uh, for example, this video here, the video stream itself will not have the metadata regarding the lens and things like that. But depending on the camera, it may store a little sidecar file. In the case of Canon cameras, at least, it will store a little sidecar file called a thumb that will store that metadata for you. So you can get that metadata from the thumb file. In other cases, you may need to use a special tool that ships with the digital camera to look up the metadata. For example, in the case of Sony cameras. Now, if you wanna use a smartphone camera, they store a lot of metadata also. So here's the metadata for this smartphone. Unfortunately, the sensors tend to be so small and the cameras change so quickly that it's very difficult to find the literal size of the sensor. So even if we look for focal length here, which will tell us the actual focal length of the lens, in this case it looks like 4.8 millimeters, chances are we will not be able to find the actual sensor size for this camera. So this isn't gonna do us a lot of good. But what we can do is we can find the 35 millimeter equivalent focal length. Many times this is stored in smartphone cameras these days and point and shoots. So if you can find this little piece of metadata, this would tell you the equivalent focal length if this was a regular full frame digital camera, an eight perf equivalent full frame digital camera. So in that case, you would drop down your camera and you would put in the size of a full frame eight perf 
camera, regular 35 millimeter camera, the defaults are set up to be half frame, which is a four perf, a standard cinema pull down. So this is not the default that you'd have in the case of a still camera, which in this nomenclature, this means full frame. So we'll put that information in here, 36 by 24. And then we'll put 31 in for the focal length. And now this camera will emulate the field of view of our smartphone camera. So that's how you can look up the field of view using the metadata. If you're using a camera that doesn't have metadata, what you could do, uh, for example, a film camera or a digital cinema camera, which surprisingly the high-end digital sim cinema cameras don't store as much metadata in their streams. But what you can do is you can look up the shooting mode of the camera from the documentation, and then you'll have to record the focal length of the lens on paper. Now, if, if everything else fails, but you do have a good enough moving clip of the footage, you can figure out the field of view using the th 3D camera tracker, and we'll do that in the next example. The caveat here is that the shot must have enough parallax in it that you can get a reasonable 3D solve. Pan and tilt shots only will not give you enough information to figure out the field of view of the lens, which is why it's so important that you record it when you're shooting a visual effects plate.